This is exactly what Museveni has done, and this is what he's still doing. Now, those poor, ignorant Ugandans, <coughs> like you mentioned, Nantaba, and so many others, they have supported him. He has used them. He's excellent when it comes to using people. He uses them. And after he has used them to the maximum, he throws them out like a trash. He has used so many, I, I think we brought it up in one of our conversations before, that actually most of the women, if not all the women, Museveni has put in positions of power in his government. Some of them sit in the government and don't even have power. They have to pass an interview in his bedroom. And you know what that means. So without that, he, he doesn't, you know, after he has done the interview in the bedroom, gives them a position, whether ambassador or minister or whatever, after he has used them to the maximum, damaged their reputation where they came from, he dumps them. Hmm. And then he picks another one. And it is amazing or surprising that people still flock to him. I don't understand why. After having seen what he has done with them, with the other people he has used, including men. Look at this man who was vice uh, vice president, Professor, what is his name? They killed his son. And look at what he did oh, with, you know, yeah, Apple or whatever his name. Look at this man, um, General Katumba Wamara. Yeah. They, Unfortunately, the bullets which were supposed to catch him caught his daughter in the same vehicle. And that woman, that little girl just died there in the presence of her father. And the man is still blind, kissing the behind of him seven mm. for peanuts. This is the tragedy of human stupidity, which I talked about some time ago. When people are yeah. stupid, they are going to be used and they are going to be trashed like any, anybody else.